listen, I know some things. One of the things I know is that I have a stupid obsession with TikTok right now. And I keep talking about it. I'm aware of this, but that's not gonna stop me from doing it. one more video. Other, no wait, no, I have another one that I wanna do. But this one, I'm gonna do because I wanna try it. As I scroll through TikTok, I see a lot of photography accounts. Now, there's a lot of people on TikTok that do iPhone photography and they come up with all these cool little tips and tricks videos to show you how to do professional photography with your iPhone. I'm not dissing these people, they do take beautiful pictures. But I wanna try these tips and tricks. I don't really know what this video is. I'm not trying to prove that they're wrong or anything. I just wanna see if I can take the same photos they take. <laughs> it was shocking how good that was. So I went through TikTok. Whoops, sweatpits right now? Kind, is that? Maybe? Yeah. So I went through TikTok and I typed in iPhone photography. My favorite is everyone has the exact same video. It's have an iPhone, take a live photo of something moving while everything else is still, swipe up, put it to long exposure, then you have a cool looking photo. So I'm gonna take these photos. I've got a lot of tips and tricks, so we're gonna go out into the world, meaning my backyard, maybe, and take photos with these tricks and tips to see if I can get any good photos out of it. The thing is, I know I'm gonna have to edit. And I found some that were editing tips, which was nice, like to get a cool sunset with a couple of exposures and whatnot. So this is TikTok iPhone photography tricks. So we're just gonna see if I can do them. That's all this is. You gonna sleep through it or are you gonna help me? Earn your keep, bro. Let's do it. Okay, so one of the, whoa, I almost fell. One of the big tips I kept seeing was sometimes we try and take pictures from like downward upward and it doesn't look that cool because you should have flipped your phone so the lens was closer to the ground. So I'm gonna demonstrate both ways. Come here. Okay, so this way. Oh, camera's not upside down. Good job, buddy, sit. Now if I flip my camera. Good job, buddy. Good modeling. Let's see if my photos. God, he's handsome. Oh, he's so handsome. Oh, freaking love my dog. This one actually worked. This trick is cute. Flip your camera, your phone. It's not a camera. Your phone upside down so you can get closer to the ground for the shot upward. My manager's texting me. What do you want? You're welcome. He said, thank you. Manners. <laughs> All right. The next one says to get one of these little macro lenses. I have owned this for a while now. I think I've tested it in like Amazon's most useful video or whatever. All right. So you got to take your ah, my magnet for my thing in my car so I can drive safely and with my GPS. So you stick, wait a second. How are you supposed to stick this on if I have like six cameras? Wait a second. I have like 12,000 cameras. Which one does this go on? This one? Okay. That seems to have done something. Is that it? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, okay, that's it, but it's not perfect. So what you're supposed to do is put one of these macro lenses on and then find water droplets. Like, I'm in Southern California in the middle of winter. Where do you think there's water? Well, it's not winter, it's spring, I guess. So come on, come on water, you can do it. Get out, come on. Even the hose doesn't even have water. Get to mother, is it kinked? There it is, all right, hold on. It's gonna sprinkle, get some water on some leaves. Yeah, water that business, all right. Find a good dewy droplet, found one. This is too much of a macro lens, I feel. Everything, stop blowing in the wind. Stop moving! This model is uncooperative, I cannot work with it. Okay, but I have to, because I have to get this shot. So get the sun. St Seriously, you need to stop moving. I'm trying to work. This isn't doing anything. This is stupid. What did I get? This doesn't look like anything. I'm stressing here. I don't think this works when you have 12,000 lenses on the back of your camera. Literally touching the leaf. There's an attachment. What does this one do? This is a fisheye. Oh God, you can just get a fisheye to get cool pictures. This isn't working for me. I feel like my macro lens is too macro. Okay, I'm gonna, you know, I'll just declare this hack. What, maybe one day I'll frame this right so you can actually like see me when I talk. That would be great on my part for your benefit, but not today. I'm gonna declare that one stupid. <laughs> so let's move on. I'm not getting any good photos. Actually, I, that's a lie. I got a great one of my dog so far. What's the next tip? Put your iPhone in slow mode and toss it into the air. This is like a video, but I guess it's iPhone photography. So we're just gonna like, what, see my neighbors in the backyards too? I'm gonna go wide lens, okay? And then you just toss it. Woo, woo, it, it hit the ground. <laughs> okay, let's see what it did. That was, that was dizzy. I feel like I could do a better one. I need to go straight up. Woo! <laughs> now it happened. Let's watch that one. Oh, that's kind of 
kind of fun. All right, that one I feel like would be cool, yes, if you were in like a crowd of people. Otherwise, you're just alone in your backyard. That's unkept. Next thing. Okay, it wants you to shoot through things. They really like it on the TikToks if your camera has to go through something to take a picture of something else. What I mean by that is they were like, a Pringle can, a toilet paper roll, a cut up water bottle. Put your camera through one hole, make it the same hole, but make it shoot through the hole. So I'm gonna go get a pa toilet paper roll and see how uh, Snoop looks through that. Luckily I had to uh, change the roll yesterday. <laughs> Nope, I need you, buddy. Snoop's working on his sit and stay. That's why I'm using him and not Blaze, because Blaze takes pictures really well, but Snoop needs to learn how to. <laughs> Good way. Good job, buddy. Maybe if he was farther away. Oh my God, he's handsome. Good job, buddy. Come here. I don't really get the point of this one. It just looks like I'm looking through a tunnel. I don't know. Does that look cool? I gotta edit all of these to make them look really cool at the end because I think that's what it matters. All right, next thing. Oh, this one I'm gonna need some packing tape. I'm excited for this one. Okay, so for this one, you're supposed to have a different iPhone. I have an extra iPhone here. Don't come for me. And you get what, a neon-ish sign with a black background. You take tape, clear tape, spray it with some water. So that's over it. And then you try and zoom in on the dots. Hold on, it won't let me zoom in on the dots. Zoom in on the dots! What, do I need another macro lens? You're supposed to be able to see the neon sign in the dots. How'd they do this? Oh, almost got it. No, stop focusing on the background. Okay, I got the dots. Focus, Fo no, focus. God, this is difficult. I'm not getting the heart in the background at all. Ugh, this is very frustrating. I do not understand this at all. I'm just gonna like do my own thing with some reflective tape here. Hold on, I think I sort of got it going on. Okay, I think this is as close as I'm gonna get it. It's supposed to have the hearts and all the little, I guess it has in some. I don't know, that wasn't as cool as I wanted it to be. Cause this dude's video made it seem really freaking cool. <sighs> okay, now we are venturing out outside of my house, gross, to get one of the long exposure shots. Oh, exhausted. We're gonna go to Starbucks first. But I'm gonna find a bridge and do it of the freeway. I'm gonna try it during the daytime and then at nighttime to see the difference between the two. I just realized there's a problem. The area I live in, you go under the freeway, you don't go over it. Then the very far stretch. So I'm driving around trying to remember where there's an overpass. Is that what they're called? I'm going over, not an underpass. That's it. I don't wanna go under, I wanna go over the freeway. So I'm trying to find a spot to do that and I'm failing drastically. Now we are just currently driving on the freeway in hopes of seeing a bridge above us. I'm making this way more complicated than it needs to be. It's only 2 p.m. though, which means the traffic isn't gonna get bad for another like 45 minutes. Is that not much time? I'm on, I'm on a bridge right now, but I need, to, I need to have one over me. I see a bridge and traffic. I'm coming for you. So there was a footbridge for human beings and I'm trying to get to that. I found it. I found the footbridge. I've never ventured on a bridge such as this. My mom wouldn't let me walk anywhere as a kid. The freeway's pretty loud. Oh, there it is. This seems unsafe. All right, woo! So I'm getting my camera. It's so loud! I feel like I'm breaking the rules somehow. Right, let's see how those looked. It makes the freeway look empty! What? Woo. Dear God, that was loud. I feel like the cars were going too fast for daytime. I think at night with the lights it might look cooler. So I think I'm gonna go to a corner of like a normal street and see if it works that way. Cause it was literally just like, it looked like the freeway was empty. All right, we're at a cute little corner. It's clean and whatnot. And we're just gonna see if this works. Wait, they all, the streets just look freaking empty. I don't get the point of this. Not having any luck, none whatsoever. What about walking people? What if, what if I get just human beings walking? Hold on. How am I in a shopping center in the middle of the day and there isn't a single pedestrian? <gasps> what, okay, there's one, there's one woman. Oh, but she's going back to her car, oh no. Why does this video want me to fail so bad? Like, what did I do to it? Come on, man. No human beings. There's no humans. Got a moving fountain. Let's see what that does. The whole pit, okay. I tried with traffic. I tried with people. I tried at crosswalk, freeways, a fountain. I can't, I think it has to do with lights. So we're gonna try this again in the nighttime. Cause she's done for right now. I'm gonna go home and hopefully later I can do it. Okay. Now, for this one, it's an editing trick. So, what you do is you take a picture of the sunset 
Uh, this one. This is a sunset. And then you go to edit and you go, oh, you're supposed to go to Lightroom. Ugh, I think I have Lightroom. Let me see. Yeah, I have Lightroom. Okay. So then you have to have Lightroom for this. I thought it was just editing for funsies. So what you do now is you turn the exposure to negative 2.11. What the frick is exposure? Exposure. Here. Would you work? You're taking six hours. Really? Exposure to negative two point. I know it seems, it seems dark. Negative two point, eh, eh, ele No, you need to be at 11. It's 10, that's 13, that's 12. We're gonna stick to 12. And then turn vibrance and saturation, vibrance and saturation to 100. That was 91. And then that's it, that's it. Ooh, okay then, nailed it. So we did that one, That's that was an editing tip. All done. All right, as you can tell by the lighting in my car and the brake lights that were just on my face, it's nighttime and there I found a driving bridge next to that footbridge. So I'm gonna go see, and you're allowed to stop on a bridge, but I don't wanna really like walk on bridges at night by myself. For some reason, that seems really sketchy, but I'm gonna go see if it's safe enough to go on this bridge by myself at night. So let's, let's see. This is sketchy as <laughs> Why do I live in LA? Okay, found the bridge. Parked a billion years away from it because you're not allowed to park on bridges. And here's the freeway. All right. Oh, she's going fast. This is freeway scary. Let me take a couple pictures, hold on. I'm not running away. I'm right on the dark. Run, 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 run to safety, don't look back. Run to safety, don't look back. Run to safety, don't look back. Oh, skip, jump, run, 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 run. Okay, huh? where's the key? Get in the car, get in the car. Close the door, lock the door. Oh, it's dark. Let's see what I got here. Oh God, I'm out of freaking breath. Well, <laughs> it looks slightly better. I mean, still looks pretty empty if you ask me. Maybe I don't have too, I have too much moving. Maybe I need less movement. I don't know, I don't know. I just think this hack is not for me. Okay, another one is to use another iPhone to use as reflection, because when they're off, they're very reflective if you don't have fingerprints on it like I do. So you find an object you want, you put the iPhone up under it, and then you reflect it. See how it's so reflective, like, oh my face. Oh, you can see the top of my head. I don't know how reflections work. Okay, let's try that. Okay, so I went to Colleen's to get the reflective photos and I took the photos, but I didn't film me taking the photos. So here are some lovely photos I took of Daisy. What I learned is that you have to have uh, an iPhone that's greater... Really? You have to have an iPhone that's completely black. You can't have the ones that are white, like you can't have one of the old ones. And the case has to be not huge. Anyway, so those are the tricks and the tips. Uh, I edited the pictures that I took today. So here are the edited photos that we took together. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. I love learning new things. I love learning ticks, tip. Why can't I say tricks and tips? I've been struggling with that this entire video filming. If you have any other iPhone tips and tricks, why is it so hard? Please let me know about them uh, on some sort of social media. Subscribe to see videos every Tuesday and Thursday on this channel. Also subscribe to my vlog channel. I haven't posted in a hot second, but I'm gonna start to again. I always say that. Sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. But I always post a podcast every Monday with my mom called All Things Internet. The links are at the end or down below for both the vlog and the podcast. I love you guys. Seriously, I love you, but you need to leave. Get out of my freaking house!